Creek, and I grew up in a religious home, um, spiritual home, and got into addiction um, with alcohol, and it ran rapid in my life, and I had lost that connection with my faith, with God. I was in a very dark place. I didn't feel sufficient enough to pray to God. To even call out to him, um, I couldn't muster up the words inside me, and I had gotten so bad um, in choices in my life, um, not just with alcohol, but it turned into abusive relationships, domestic violence, um, at the very worst, human trafficking, and moving drugs. Um, I would go between Kalamazoo and Chicago and Battle Creek. I would, wouldn't have memory of how I got to a certain place or things like that. And it, it got to a point where I just wanted to die. My prayer was to God, just put me out of this misery. And for some reason, he, he wouldn't allow that. And I didn't know why, and I became angry. And continued to turn away and just basically give up. And I had gone to jail and um, they had um, asked if we wanted anything to read and I said, my Bible. And I, I didn't know why I did, I just, it, and so I just started reading. And it got me thinking and I was starting to remember verses growing up and I just began to pray, like, Lord, if, if if I'm worthy enough to continue to save me from everything you have, please help me turn my life back to you. And it's a process I couldn't do without this program because it's a safe place. I mean, I'm dealing with stuff that I've blocked out, I can't remember, I, you know, not only physically, mentally, spiritually, everything. And this place allows me to do that. My parents, they're also here in Battle Creek. They're back in my life. I'm working on talking with my children. and It's just been, it's from God is all I know. It's from God because I couldn't have done it.